The slide library is a place where you can extract slides from your presentations to be saved in with a file name for each slide. That way you can identify each slide by file name for a quick reference and an import from that library to be reused into your next presentation. So for example, in this presentation I've got like, well, these last three slides that others and including myself like reusing in future presentations. But it's not just about reusing as we talked about in an earlier training video where, you know, you can come up here, click on the new slide drop down arrow, go down to reuse slides and be able to pull it from that one PowerPoint presentation. I mean, that's fine, but if you've got 20 different PowerPoint presentations to be able to pull these slides in, you'd have to do it 20 times. But instead, how about if we just create a slide library that has all those popular slides into that one slide library folder? That we can stay there to do our one-stop shopping for the more popular slides and not have to reopen many different presentations through that, you know, drop-down arrow to reuse slides. So, to go ahead and extract, at least from this presentation, the three slides here to this library with others I'd like to extract, come up here, click on the File tab, go backstage down to Share. Because, you know, libraries, it's about sharing. You check it out, and the good thing about this is you don't have to check it back in. It's yours to keep. So down to share, and there you go, publish slides. Click on it, and then come up here, publish slides to a slide library or SharePoint site. A SharePoint site is basically a computer at some warehouse that has a software SharePoint on it that serves you like a server. And that helps you to collaborate with others across the Internet, so you have to have Internet connection. In any case, I'm going to keep it simple and show you how you can publish this to your own computer or to a network on your computer to share with others. And you can read the bulleted points here, store slides in a shared location for other people to use, and then track review changes, see the latest version, receive emails when changes are made. Um, a lot of those you can do with SharePoint here. But let's go ahead and keep it simple. Click on Publish Slides, and hey, there's all the slides here in my presentation, a total of nine including the last three that I want to extract into my library. So it says up here, select the slides you want to publish. Well, I want to do this one, one, two. Well, you can select all and it checks all of them. Clear all, it clears all of them, but I just want these three right here. And so I don't have to see the others. Well, if I got them staggered, you know, up here and I have to zip back and forth through all the others. Go ahead and check show only selected slides. And there we go. And I'm going to uncheck that one. And uncheck it, check it again. There we go. Now it's updated. And you can see we've got for the file name, what the heck is slide library 12? And then ghost hunting income. Okay, that's the description, but that's the title of the slide. So I like to have the title, select it, control C to copy it as the file name, control V as in Victor to paste it. And then do that also for the description for this one. And for visit us, well, for visit us today, let's just say visit. Visit us and let's have fun hunting ghosts. You can help us. In fact, if it wasn't for you and all your hauntings, we would be out of business. And we're not the type of people that are happy to be out of business, so we hope everybody's got some spook that they can show us. For your sakes, we hope not. But for us, hey, couldn't have worked out better. In any case, down below, you need to go ahead and choose a site to publish it to. Like if you have a SharePoint site, get the URL from your IT person, type it in here, and then click Publish. Of course, you'll have to have a username and password so you can put it up on the SharePoint site, or if it's another server, go ahead and type it in here. Otherwise, you can go ahead and click Browse, and it takes you right to the My Slide Libraries, which that's fine. You don't have to use that. You can go to the desktop, and we can create a new folder and call it My Libraries, and then go ahead and hit Enter, and then let's select it, My Libraries on the desktop, and then click Publish, and well, that's it. We're done. Close out. Open up some more PowerPoint presentations that you want to be able to extract slides to the slide library, which is right here, My Libraries. Click and drag. Thank you. Double click. And there you go. There's the name of the file, so I can identify them each now within the folder here. Ghost Hunting Income, Paranormal Investigation, Visit Us, Let's Have Fun. Oh, that's fabulous. So let me close out. You know, extract more, and it builds up. You get a lot of, for each slide, a separate file. So when I'm ready and I open up PowerPoint again, building a presentation from scratch, double click. I can come up here, click on the new slide drop down arrow. And again, we covered this in an earlier training video, reusing slides. This is where we're going to go. Click on it. And you can come over here and we can open a slide library, which it takes you to that folder. But, well, 
you can select it because it's pointing as a shortcut whenever you create a slide library it stuffs the shortcut into the my slide libraries under the PowerPoint folder we can click on the arrow back here and know that it's under Microsoft the roaming app data the trainer as I'm logged in under the users from the C drive Whew, what an address or let me just click on the folder and then hit the home key on the keyboard there you go the C drive users training app data roaming Microsoft that's the address to get to this here in any case you could select it and click select but it's gonna say choose an existing site library so that's not gonna work for me and it hasn't worked for me so instead what I like using is just coming over here and clicking on the browse drop down arrow and browse file and it's in my libraries desktop double click and hey there we go there's all of them so you know I can go ahead and find one that I like and select it let's do the last one click on open and well, yeah it looks good so I can go ahead and right click on it insert the slide and when I say insert all slides well doesn't insert all of them just this one because there's no more here and notice how it just brought it over without the theme well let's not do that hit undo because I'd like to include the theme so let's right click and we can apply the themes if you want to do it that way as well apply themes to all slides and then I can go ahead and insert it or let me go ahead and hit undo and let's come down here and say we want to keep the source formatting before I go ahead and right click on it then insert it so that way I can keep well the theme and the formatting from that single slide file into my presentation here fabulous I click on browse again to browse again and choose another one ghost hunting income double click and then keep the source formatting insert it great and then click and drag move it around and one stop shopping my little folder for all the slides, each having their own file name per slide. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.